What's up guys, my name is Fran and welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're gonna be pitting up my new 15 inch MacBook Pro with Vega 20 graphics against my old but still good 15 inch MacBook Pro that is rocking the older generation Radeon Pro 560X GPU. So other than the graphics card, these two laptops have the exact same specifications. They both are rocking the new Intel Core i9-8950HK. This is a six core part that can turbo boost up to 4.8 gigahertz. They're also sporting 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and a one terabyte SSD. So to kick off this head to head, we're actually gonna start in macOS. Running synthetic benchmarks such as Geekbench 4 yielded the results you see here on your screen. And as you can see, the Vega 20 MacBook Pro definitely edges out the 560X and by a significant amount as well. The next benchmark we ran was Cinebench R15. And here we see about a 10 FPS difference in the GPU performance. Now moving on to our render test in Final Cut Pro, I ended up running the Bruce X benchmark test. So here, once again, we saw the Vega graphics card edge out the Radeon 560 Pro by about five to six seconds on average. In DaVinci Resolve, the Vega 20 GPU absolutely crushed it in render performance, beating out the Radeon 560X by about 70%, and that's a huge difference. Now that we've established that Vega 20 graphics perform extremely well in macOS, let's head over to Windows and check out the gaming performance. Okay, so first, let me say both laptops are more than capable of playing casual games. So titles like Overwatch, Dota, and even Fortnite night are all locked in at about 60 fps at medium to low graphic settings moving on to the actual benchmarks we once again ran geekbench 4 on the windows side of things and we actually saw even higher scores from both laptops i felt like this was worth mentioning windows really is better optimized for gp loads on pretty much all types of hardware moving on to cinebench we again saw the vega 20 gpu edge out the 560x so for actual gaming benchmarks we did run them against a couple of titles and here are the results from those tests So looking at those results, it's pretty clear that the Vega 20 GPU is definitely faster and more powerful than the previous generation 560X. But at what cost? Both these laptops are considerably expensive as they're currently configured and the Vega 20 graphics adds an additional $350 to that price tag. So with all that being said, is the Vega 20 graphics upgrade worth the extra money? Well, I think that depends on your use case scenario, but in my opinion, for someone like me who needs a powerful mobile editing laptop that also likes to game while they're either on the go or traveling for work or just for leisure, I think the Vega 20 graphics card is definitely worth the upgrade. The Vega 20 graphics card shaved off a ton of time when it came to rendering, and when it came to gaming, we saw somewhere in the neighborhood of about a 30% increase in performance. And for those two stats alone, I definitely think it's worth the extra $350. But I wanna know what you guys think about the Vega 20 performance down in the comment section below. Also, while you guys are down there, go ahead and hit that like button if you like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more technology content. Once again, guys, my name is Fran. Thanks for checking this video out, and I'll see you guys on my next one.